everyone, I'm going to share some quick tips about easel and how to speed up a carve. This particular one, uh, I've duplicated over, so I just have two instead of the same carve, and this here is just the outline. So for now, we'll just go ahead and delete that. I'm going to simulate this one, and we'll start out with this as our baseline. We just want to speed this carve up. This is on a 3018 machine, so unfortunately, uh, easel doesn't do well with the simulation. Uh, projected time to car but if we export out of here and drop it in something else like open builds like i like to use it'll take the gerbil settings and it will give you a different more accurate carve time based on acceleration and uh, max speed rates and stuff like that uh, whereas in here i have an hour and 41 minutes when i drop this same exact cheat code into open builds it tells me a little over three hours so we want to cut it down from that for this eight inch by eight inch circle here. So one easy way to do that is he's using single bit and I noticed there's a handful of flats that appear on here. So we can either change it to a two bit car, but there's not really that many flats. We can also just go deeper in those areas or if, if the flats are actually desired, another way of taking care of those faster is to come in here and adjust our safety height. And that's going to cause a lifting. And then while we're in, the, in here as well, another thing we do is adjust our V-bit step over. I noticed with a 9 degree bit, you can typically get away with up to about 8% step over. With a finer bit like a 60 or a 30, a 60 you can get away with about 4% and have it not really be visible. And then a 30, maybe about 3 and have it not really be visible. But stepping from 1 to 4 is already going to make all these flats carve 4 times as fast. So. I'm okay with that. Let's just go to four and we adjusted our safety height so we're not lifting nearly as high every time. And we had an hour and 41, I believe, to start with. And now we should be up a little bit faster than that. And there's one more thing that we can do to make it carve even faster. So we cut it down from 141 down to 127. So we, we, we gained a little bit of time out of that already. Another trick to do here is well let me show you what happens when i open the cheat code when i open the g code for this this is the original design before changing the step overs and, and whatnot and i'm at about 108,000 lines of code so with that you notice that some of these lines start adjusting our z height and our x and y so we have essentially three-dimensional carving all three dimensions are being adjusted at the same time uh, and that's because we're doing a pocket and we have tons of nodes in there. However, once it starts into that um, adjustment of all three, our feed rate of the Z takes over. We can go faster with our Z feed rate, and it's not really gonna cause an issue here with you know, jamming into the stock or anything like that. So if we go ahead and change that to match, so that our feed rate is the same at 600 millimeters a minute or 23.6 of inches per minute, then we are going to greatly increase the speed of this car. If I was using an end mill, I probably wouldn't go so uh, fast on the plunge because you're, it, it's, it can heat up the bottom of the end mill and then it's no longer sharp after heating it up like that. But since we're using a V-bit here, uh, we can get away with this sort of plunge anyway. It would be nicer to have a ramp in but uh, I don't have that option yet. Still waiting for that, them to release that to everybody. So we cut it down from an hour 41 and then made the settings in the machine advanced section. And now by changing the feed rate, we're down to uh, 46 minutes of a carve time. So we cut almost an hour from the beginning, but remember our actual time was just about double that. So we actually cut about two hours out of the carve time here. We're only gonna be at about an hour and a half for this car that was previously three hours. So that's just some quick tips on what you can do with the settings in easel to be able to carve a little bit faster. So if you like CNC tutorials and content like this, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you catch future videos and tips like this and other projects that we're working on. Thank you guys and have a great day.